Uh, and what I want to do tonight is, uh, is tell you a story about uh, really the remarkable trajectory of our division of cardiology uh, and how the generosity and vision of one individual, uh, Mr. Leon Charney, really helped transform our program uh, into what is now one of the finest in the country. In 2002, a few months after uh, I got here, uh, Leon had expressed some interest in supporting the division a little bit more, and the three of us went out to dinner. I think Larry will remember this very well. And I, I was kind of a newbie here in the NYU system, um, but I, I popped the question. What question was that? I said, Leon, would you like us to name the division after you? And uh, Leon, being a, a, a very interesting man, but also a businessman, had a very short answer. How much? <laughs> well, I'm not going to go into the details, but the, the long and short of it is we are now the Leon H. Charney Division of Cardiology. Um, actually, I'll tell a two-story about Leon. Uh, but Leon just loved when I would come up to visit him uh, at the apartment in the office, and I'd show him pictures of wherever I was announced around the world to give a talk about my research. He was also announced because it always be Edward A. Fisher, and PhD, the Leon H. Charney Professor of Cardiovascular Medicine at New York University. So I always enjoy showing him, hey, here I am in Japan, and there's the sign. Or here I am at the American Heart Association, and there's the sign. So it's been a, a real source of satisfaction. So, you know, as I was uh, thinking about things to say today, it reminded me that I first met Leon probably 25 years ago. Uh, it was in the early 80s that he underwent uh, bypass surgery at NYU. And you may not know this, but he had a terrible outcome. Um, he literally almost died during that procedure. And in retrospect, it was physician-related. I mean, he, he had a bad outcome. Um, and most people nowadays, in my experience, would have had a beeline to their lawyer to look for some kind of uh, retribution related to that. They would have left the medical center. They would have been angry. Uh, but Leon did just the opposite. Uh, I think he had faith in his physicians. He knew that they were working for him. He recognized that human error was possible. Uh, and it actually bonded him to the NYU Medical Center. And his commitment from the early 80s to now uh, is really responsible for much of what Glenn and Ed has shown you over the last time. Since Leon's original gift, uh, we've been able to recruit an extraordinary group of physicians. And yet this past year, um, U.S. News and World Report, NYU was number 10. We've really gotten into that incredibly rarefied air of upper echelon program. So I want to invite Celia. I want you to come accept an award on behalf of everybody in the Division of Cardiology, our faculty, our trainees, and our staff. Um, to thank you and your family for being so stalwart and supporting us. First of all, I'm going to say hi to Nikki and Atu. So I won't forget to mention them. They were born here. So it's really a home in many ways. Leon, in his way, gave his heart all the way. And ironically, his heart failed him um, after he gave the division. And then, and unfortunately, even more, it hurt his uh, beautiful mind. The two things that he never failed with, even after he got sick, is to keep his soul and his wisdom. But um, it's, it feels very strange to stand here knowing that after everything. And I think that I told Larry that he was one of the first patients to use the lab after he gave it. And in his way, he always had to try something and go all the way. So, uh, in a funny way, he went all the way and he was one of the first patients in the lab. But since then, um, and when you were home, in a good way, in a bad way, um, and all the time, we were very thankful. And then, it's a collaboration forever. And then, Tomorrow, you know, it's the real your time for me. So it's very beautiful to have to start it with you guys. Uh, last week we were in Israel and we had a simulation for three stops in the center that I built for Leon. And it's all Leon and uh, it's all Leon in the best way. So this is a wonderful way to mark this, uh, this first year of Leon and I'm sure for many more. So, thank you. He did things that are not well known <coughs> in all circles. 
when he was a law student. He was out in a theater, and he saw what happened when somebody had a heart attack in a theater. And doctors galore were around him, but nobody would touch the man who died for fear of reprisal of lawsuits from family and others. And he came back to his classes and says, we've got to do something about this. And he wrote articles about it. And the New York State Legislature passed the Good Samaritan Law for Doctors because of Leon H. Charlie. He was somebody who appreciated what everyone else is doing here and had done in the years of his wonderful life. We are just so proud of him.